Any reason not to proceed with sentencing at this time? No, Judge. No, sir. Any technical objections, Ms. Corsi? No, Judge. Uh, defense wish to be heard? No, Judge. Right. Does Mr. Garcia want to say anything? No, Judge. All right. State? Judge, the state. Obviously, you can only do one sentence, but the state would request a 30-year consecutive sentence on the conspiracy charge. Um, and we do not have any evidence to present other than the statement that Your Honor has already reviewed. Sorry, I left my notepad on my desk. Excuse me. I have reviewed the victim impact letters. Um, thoughtful and uh, touching comments. Um, Sangin, come forward with your client, please. As the jury haven't found you guilty of murder in the first degree and conspiracy to commit first degree murder, I do adjudicate you guilty of each offense. On count one, I sentence you to life in prison, give you credit on that sentence of 1,238 days, which dates back to May 25th, 2016, which I understand to be the date of arrest. On count two, I sentence you to 30 years, Department of Corrections, to run consecutively to count one. There's no jail credit as to count two since it is a consecutive sentence. Uh, as to count three, based upon the jury verdict of not guilty, I adjudicate you not guilty of that offense. Order mandatory cost $420, $100 cost of prosecution. Reduce that amount to civil judgment. Um, Garcia, you have 30 days to file a notice of appeal. If you can't afford a lawyer, one would be appointed to represent you. And I would assume, Mr. Sanganet, you will assist him in getting the appeal filed and uh, the record perfected. Yes, Judge. We did provide the clerk. I don't know if we provided it yet. Yep. We have provided with an updated financial affidavit. Did you refuse the affidavit? We'll take that up because you need to perfect the record before you move to withdraw, but we'll review that at that point in time. Yes, Does that leave anything outstanding from anyone? No, sir. Anything further? No, Judge. All right. Good luck to you, sir. We'll be in recess. Sure.